some animals prefer to be alone um, and we at Denver Zoo try to mimic those same situations that the animals would be doing in the wild. Welcome back to DZTV's Best Life presented by Cigna. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Antisocial, lonely, solitary, these are all words that tend to have a negative association. After all, it's human nature to want to be social. But that's the thing. Denver Zoo cares for many non-human animal species, and some of them just want to be alone. Behavioral husbandry manager Heather Genter explains. Some animals prefer not to share the space uh, that is the evolution of that species. They would prefer to um, not have that competition in their immediate range. Um, some animals have territories where they defend them aggressively from other animals. Um, so another animal coming into their space, another, even if it's the same species, that animal doesn't want to be around them. Um, so they're going to defend their territory, they're going to defend their resources, their food, their mates, their access to all of these resources from any other animal that comes into their range. Grizzly bear Tundra is one of our most asked about animals. She grew up with another rescued cub, Kootenai, who died in 2019. But there are no plans to pair Tundra with another bear because Heather says that wouldn't fit into her species' natural history. We're always looking at that and making sure we're following exactly what the animal would do in the wild as much as possible to provide them with the best care here at Denver Zoo. I know it's hard for us to want to uh, put it, give her a friend. We want to see animals with buddies. That's our, our natural history. So we sometimes tend to put our natural history onto our animals, um, but that would not be the best care for them. We need to think of them as bears and not humans. Heather's job at Denver Zoo is to ensure the physical and mental wellness of all of our animals. So believe her when she says they're doing what's best for these species. So when our animals are alone, they get the same care that a social animal gets here at Denver Zoo. We give them lots of enrichment and opportunities to interact with their environment, to express species appropriate behaviors, um, so that we meet all of their natural needs. As for Tundra, her care team says she's doing great in this new autonomous phase of her life. Her keepers provide her with a ton of enrichment and training sessions that keep her active, engaged, physically healthy, mentally healthy, um, everything we would expect to see in a bear. Individual care for independent animals. Just another way we give our animals their best life here at Denver Zoo. For DZTV, I'm Carly McGuire. See you next time.